점수 잡는 해커스 해커스 토익 실전 천재 토 리스닝 Test 8 Listening Test In this section, you must demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This section is divided into four parts and will take approximately 45 minutes to complete. Do not mark the answers in your test book. Use the answer sheet that is provided separately. Part 1. Directions For each question, You will listen to four short statements about a picture in your test book. These statements will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the statement that best describes what is happening in the picture and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on the answer sheet. Look at the picture below. Now. Listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking at the monitor. B. The man is sitting at the desk. C. The man is typing a letter. D. The man is holding a cup. The statement that best describes the picture is B. The man is sitting at the desk. So you should mark letter B on the answer sheet. Now. Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. They are traveling along a road. B. They are removing their backpacks. C. They are biking down a path. D. They are walking near some trees. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A man is typing on a keyboard. B. A man is leaning on an armrest. C. A woman is pushing a chair. D. A woman is pointing at a monitor. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Some dirt is piled next to a shed. B. A worker is spraying a stream of water at the ground. C. A gardener has grasped a hose with both hands. D. A gardener is rinsing a tool near a flower bed. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some trucks are being loaded with goods. B. A garage door is being closed. C. Some lights are attached to the ceiling. D. A vehicle window is damaged. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A river connects to a larger body of water. B. Both sides of a canal are bordered by structures. C. A boat is sailing under a footbridge. D. People are lined up to board a vessel. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A fence blocks the entrance to a building. B. All pedestrians have cleared out of a public square. C. A group has gathered at the base of a lamp post. D. Some bicycles have been left unattended. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions For each question, you will listen to a statement or question 
followed by three possible responses spoken in English. They will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Who can register for the business Spanish class? A. Anyone interested may sign up. B. It's right by the cash register. C. Kendra is our newest instructor. Number eight. Which of our clients will have to pay increased fees? A. They all will. B. I processed the payment. C. Because of rising costs. Number nine. Have you considered switching to a different bank? A. Just a fifty dollar cash withdrawal, please. B. You'd better let the accountant know. C. I like my current one well enough. Number ten. Let's take a walk through the park. A. I'll go grab my jacket. B. It's underneath that tree. C. About two miles. Number eleven. I don't know how to fill out the new timesheet. A. I think I saw it on your desk. B. Ask Sue to give you a hand. C. My friend showed me around. Number twelve. Where did you decide to hold the fundraising banquet? A. A few options are being discussed. B. Most of the guests have arrived. C. It will take place next Saturday. Number thirteen. How much will it cost to have this skirt altered? A. That color suits you. B. All items of clothing are on sale. C. There's no charge for that. Number fourteen. Is North Road closed off for street repairs? A. Yes, until next week. B. No, the shop is on Leyland Drive. C. That is the quickest route. Number fifteen. Wouldn't you rather have a first-class seat for the flight? A. No, I wanted coffee instead. B. I've already arrived at the Gimpo Airport. C. Yes, but it's too expensive. Number sixteen. Why are you dissatisfied with these eyeglasses? A. We manufacture commercial lenses. B. Don't you think the frames are too large? C. Customers seem to be happy with the results. Number seventeen. Is the new line of sportswear going to be launched on schedule? A. About two months ago. B. It is very popular with consumers. C. The launch has been pushed back. Number eighteen. Apparently, Abby from the human resources department was promoted. A. I hadn't heard about the outing. B. Mr. Richard has named her regional director. C. They're promoting a new product. Number nineteen. Where do you want to get together to plan our backpacking trip? A. I don't have a preference. B. Our gear must be packed. C. Don't you think we should camp for a few nights? Number twenty. Why don't we carpool to the office from now on? A. I usually drive to work. B. 
There are vehicles parked along the street. C. That would save us gas money. Number 21. When will my raise go into effect? A. I'd like to go in too. B. The show begins at 5 p.m. C. Within a week or so. Number 22. Aren't suitcases supposed to be stored in overhead compartments? A. Small ones can be kept under the seats. B. The airline has misplaced my luggage. C. The store is still open. Number 23. Employees receive a commission on every appliance that they sell. A. That model is one of our top sellers. B. That's a great incentive for workers. C. Actually, we visited a local dealership. Number 24. How long can I use this transit pass? A. You can buy it at the ticket office. B. It's good for two more weeks. C. Transfer at Stanford Station. Number 25. Has anyone confirmed tonight's dinner reservations at Denarii Bistro? A. Sure, I can make some food for us. B. The restaurant on Elm Street. C. Didn't your secretary contact the restaurant? Number 26. The CEO offered you a position as a sales manager, didn't she? A. I really appreciate your offer. B. No, that's just a rumor. C. I plan to host the corporate executives. Number 27. What time will the volunteers show up for the event? A. At the main entrance. B. I'll have to check with Anne. C. There are 30 expected guests. Number 28. Please set up two additional workspaces. A. I'll take care of that now. B. Okay, but subtract the sum from the bill. C. Everyone had his or her own station. Number 29. Whose fountain pen is sitting on the front desk? A. Sign your name on the register. B. I've never seen it before. C. You may sit anywhere you'd like. Number 30. Are you going to paint the kitchen yourself or hire a contractor? A. The same color as the living room. B. Put it next to the refrigerator. C. I'm too busy these days. Number 31. Did you buy the watch we saw at the department store yesterday? A. I will deliver it soon. B. I couldn't resist. C. Yes, I thought it was. Part 3. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. I'm here to drop off the car I rented for the weekend. The vehicle is an SXA390 sedan, and my name is Jenna Clarkson. Okay. I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions regarding the vehicle. First, was the car scratched or otherwise damaged while you were using it? Also, 
Did you refill the gas tank prior to dropping it off, as is stipulated in the rental agreement? The car is undamaged, but I unfortunately wasn't able to put gas in the tank before coming here. Oh, then I'll have to charge you an additional fee. Please wait a moment while I make the adjustment to your bill. Number 32. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 33. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 34. Why is the woman being charged extra? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. It seems like the book fair went well overall. For the most part. However, fewer people showed up than expected. That was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, I was a little disappointed by that as well. Personally, I think we should have better advertised the event in order to attract more participants. I suggested running an online marketing campaign a few months ago. I'm not sure why our boss, Miss Gabbert, never followed up on my recommendation. I think she couldn't allocate any more money for the fair because our advertising budget had already been used for other projects. Number 35. What does the man say about the book fair? Number 36. Why does the man say, I suggested running an online marketing campaign a few months ago. Number 37. What was Ms. Gabbard unable to do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Susan, I was very impressed with the article you handed in last Thursday about popular Kentsville dining spots. Also, a lot of people have posted on social media about one of the restaurants you mentioned, uh, Lee McKitchen, the Peruvian restaurant that opened just recently. Thanks, Chris. It's nice to hear that the public is pleased with what I wrote. Given the positive feedback, maybe you should do something similar. You could write a piece about another new dining establishment in the area. I've been asked to do just that, actually. I'm about to go to our head editor's office to discuss that assignment right now. Number 38. What did the woman do last Thursday? Number 39. According to the man, what did Lima Kitchen recently do? Number 40. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. There isn't enough space in our garage to do all the repair work that we have been getting. Alan, do you think we need a larger facility? Hmm, I'm not sure. Our customers might not know where our new location is. I'm worried our competitors might get some of our business if we move. Actually, the vacant lot next door was just put up for sale. If we acquire it, we could have a bigger facility constructed on the land. That way, we would be able to expand right here. That would be perfect. Let's start by determining how much the parcel of land is being sold for. Number 41. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 42. Why is Alan concerned? Number 43. What does the woman recommend? Go on to the next page.
Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Stan, I just watched the promotional video you put together for our bakery. What do you think of it? It looks good, but I'm worried because the sale we're having on cream filled donuts isn't mentioned in it. Unfortunately, the advertisement only runs for 30 seconds, so I couldn't include everything. In that case, could you take out the part at the end that shows the interior of our shop? Remove the final segment. You specifically asked for that content to be included. I know, but providing information about the sale is more important at this point. Okay, I understand now. I'll make those changes this afternoon. Number 44. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 45. Why is the woman concerned? Number 46. What does the man mean when he says, You specifically asked for that content to be included? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Danny Martinson calling from West End Boutique. I'm sorry, but the evening gown you ordered online was returned to our shipping facility as the address you entered was inaccurate. I apologize for that. Could you please resend it? I live at 3258 Pleasant Avenue, Denver, Colorado. Certainly. It'll take about five days to reach you. Okay, that's acceptable. While I have you on the phone, can you explain how to use discount coupons on your website? I've had trouble with them in the past. Before you complete your order, click the green Promotions button on the bottom of the page. Then type the coupon code into the box that appears to apply the discount and click Submit. Number 47. Who most likely is the man? Number 48. According to the man, what did the woman fail to do? Number 49. According to the man, what should the woman do with a code? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Okay, Ms. Kelly, what seems to be the problem with your wrist? Well, it's been bothering me a lot at my job lately. I bend my right wrist repetitively at work. So, I think that might be the cause of the pain. I work in a shoe manufacturing facility and I'm often pulling levers on massive equipment. I see. In that case, I'll prescribe you some pain killing medication. However, I recommend you speak with your boss about ways to ensure that the constant motions aren't causing you any injuries in the meantime. Number 50. What does the woman say about her work? Number 51. What type of business does the woman work in? Number 52. What does the man suggest the woman do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Candice, we've been advertising the programmer position for three weeks, but very few people have applied. Plus, none of the candidates have enough relevant work experience. Hmm. I'll tell representatives from the recruitment website to run the advertisement for another week. Also, I think we should consider placing the job posting on some social media sites to attract applicants. I agree. Dylan Marks from the Human Resources Department is familiar with those types of sites. After our 10 a.m. staff meeting, I'll ask which ones he feels are most effective. If he offers specific suggestions, can you let me know after lunch? That way I can upload the posting this afternoon. Number 53. What issue does the man mention? Number 53. 
Number 54. What does the woman offer to do? Number 55. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Welcome to First United Bank. How can I help you? I'm here to apply for a loan to support my small business. I read about your financial services in the Folsom Herald. Sorry, but I can assist you at this window regarding that matter, sir. My name is Jessica, and I work in the loan department. Oh, sure. I own a self service laundry facility which needs multiple new washing and drying machines. The total amount of money I'll need for them is $30,000. Okay. However, the first step is completing a loan application. That will allow us to determine how much you qualify for. So, we should get started on that right away. Number 56. How did the man learn about First United Bank services? Number 57. Why is the man seeking a loan? Number 58. What does Jessica tell the man to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. You're watching Priority Home Shopping. Today I'll be talking to Madeline Hartman about her firm's best selling product. That's right. Braxton Industries ES32 is the first suitcase with a magnetic luggage tag, a protective cover, And a removable travel pouch. Amazing! This item certainly offers some great features. We've even added a built in battery charger. With this suitcase, travelers can charge their phones on the go. Wow! Is it available now? Yes. And we are offering it to priority home shopping viewers at 50% off its regular price. Interested shoppers should order soon, however, as this discount will be applicable for a limited time. When exactly will the sale end? On October 1st. Number 59. Who most likely is the man? Number 60. What is unique about the ES32 suitcase? Number 61. What will probably happen in October? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Excuse me, I bought a ticket for one of today's screenings at the film festival, but I seem to have lost it. Well, if you paid by credit card, I can print you a replacement. I did. Um, here is my card. Great. Now, just to confirm, the film you want to watch is Low Horizon, right? That's correct. Okay, here is your ticket. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, there is. I parked my car on the street next to the theater. How long can I leave it there? Oh, you should move it. Parking is not permitted there. I suggest using the garage across the street. Number 62. What is the woman's problem? Number 63. Look at the graphic. What time will the movie The Woman Will Watch begin? Number 64. What does the woman ask about? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and receipt. 
Hello and welcome to Engel's Department Store. Is there anything I can help you with? There is. I recently purchased some clothing here, and I noticed this pair of shoes was incorrectly scanned in as the more expensive deluxe version of the Wrigley line. Let me confirm the error quickly. Yes, you're right. I apologize for the mistake. I can give you a slip indicating store credit for the difference. That'll do. Oh, by the way, I want to return this shirt, which I purchased at the same time. Sorry, but sale items can't be refunded. Actually, this one wasn't discounted. Number sixty-five. What is the conversation mainly about? Number sixty-six. What does the man offer to do? Number sixty-seven. Look at the graphic. What brand does the woman want to return? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation and instructions. This is Salisbury Music Hall. Hi, I'm having a problem purchasing tickets for the benefit concert being held on Saturday. To raise money for the Helpline Foundation, after I enter my credit card number, the web page just reloads. Did you check the instructions at the top of the page? No. Hold on. Oh, I wasn't picking which seats I want. That fixes the issue. Thanks. No problem. Is there anything else you need? Actually, I have a question. Can I take pictures during the show? Sure, but you aren't allowed to film the performance. And keep in mind that outside food and beverages are not permitted in the auditorium. Number sixty-eight. Why is a performance being held on Saturday? Number sixty-nine. Look at the graphic. Which step did the woman miss? Number seventy. What are attendees not permitted to do? Part four. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed, and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following talk. I'm very excited to be here at the National Restaurant Association's annual trade show at the Brighton Exhibition Hall, and I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about Vend Corporation's newest commercial dishwasher, the ClearFlow XS. Made almost entirely of stainless steel, the ClearFlow XS is durable and easy to clean. In addition, because of its innovative design, this appliance uses significantly less power than other models, which saves money and benefits the environment. And of course, it is covered by Vend Corporation's comprehensive five-year warranty. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering about cost, and I'll go over that in detail soon. But first, I'd like to give a brief demonstration of this amazing product in action. Number seventy-one. Where is the talk most likely taking place? Number seventy-two. According to the speaker, what is a feature of the ClearFlow XS? Number seventy-three. What will the speaker probably do next? Questions seventy-four through seventy-six refer to the following telephone message. Hi Ryan, it's Martin Dickey from the International Business Institute. 
I just received a copy of the speech you plan to give for our lecture series on infrastructure investment and overseas development. Overall, I am very pleased with it. However, I do have a recommendation. You might want to use visual materials to illustrate the data in your report, photographs or charts, for example. One other thing, I just found out that Carol Wilkins has to give her lecture on Friday, given her travel plans. So, regarding your talk, June fifteenth works best for us. I'm hoping that will be fine, since you said you'll be in New York City through Sunday. Number seventy-four. What does the speaker say he received? Number seventy-five. What does the speaker recommend? Number seventy-six. What does the speaker mean when he says, "June fifteenth works best for us"? Questions seventy-seven through seventy-nine refer to the following advertisement. If you're planning on building your own home, then now is the time to buy property. Silver Property Management is selling a large number of undeveloped one-acre lots along Lake Brandon at reasonable prices. These lots have spectacular views and ample space for a range of landscaping possibilities. Another advantage is that while these properties have never had homes erected on them. They are ready to be connected to Hartford County's water, electric, and sewer systems. There is a great deal of interest in these lots, and we expect them to sell out quickly. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. If you would like someone to show you around our site on Lake Brandon, call our office at five 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 nine zero 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 to make an appointment. Number seventy-seven. What is being advertised? Number seventy-eight. What added benefit is available to buyers? Number seventy-nine. According to the speaker, why would listeners contact the office? Questions eighty through eighty-two refer to the following talk. As the volunteer coordinator, I'd like to welcome you to the Fairfield Senior Center. Our facility is on a tight budget, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. First, I would like to briefly explain your duties. You will be expected to organize activities, which means you'll be tasked with scheduling and setting up events at our facility. These activities are aimed at helping residents improve their mental and physical health. Okay. If anyone wants to ask me anything, now is a good time. Otherwise, we'll head to the lounge to watch a short video detailing past activities we've arranged at our center. Number eighty. Where are the listeners? Number eighty-one. What is mentioned about the listeners? Number eighty-two. What does the speaker offer to do? Go on to the next page. Questions eighty-three through eighty-five refer to the following talk. One last thing before we finish up today. As we discussed last week, several employees will be participating in a customer service workshop next Friday. This will be a great opportunity for them to improve their skills and learn new techniques in assisting our service center clients. To avoid being understaffed, then management previously said personnel should not ask for the day off. Yet several people recently made leave requests. I'd like you to explain the situation to your team members. I trust that they'll understand our limitations. Number eighty-three. According to the speaker, what will take place next Friday?
Number 84. What does the speaker mean when she says, Several people recently made leave requests? Number 85. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. As you know, the Star Resort chain is planning to develop several sites throughout the country next year, and this will open up management positions at the new hotels. I received an email from the CEO this morning stating that he would prefer to promote existing employees to fill these roles. He wants each hotel to implement a mentorship program for employees who demonstrate leadership skills. This will guarantee a large pool of suitable management candidates. To begin with, I would like each of you to provide a list of employees in your departments that have management potential. Um, email it to me by Wednesday. Number 86. What did the speaker do this morning? Number 87. What is mentioned about the mentorship program? Number 88. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following radio broadcast. You're listening to Melbourne Today on 103.9 FM. My guest this afternoon is Marsha Summers, a world renowned explorer who has been featured on the Adventure Channel and the Outdoor Channel, as well as in countless magazines and newspapers. For the past year, she's been making her way across the world in a privately owned sailboat with a crew of only three people. She landed in Australia two days ago and departs for Thailand tomorrow. I plan to ask Ms. Summers about marine protectors. A non profit organization she founded that is dedicated to protecting the wildlife in the world's oceans. We urge all of our listeners to support this group's efforts. Information on how to make a contribution is available at www.marineprotectors.com. Number 89. According to the speaker, what did Marsha Summers do? Number 90. What will the speaker ask Ms. Summers about? Number 91. What does the speaker recommend listeners do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Everyone, please gather round. I have a few details to share about today's plan before leading you on your Norwegian heritage tour. Please note that there's been a small change to our plan. Ottersen Castle was supposed to be our first stop, but the building was badly damaged in a recent storm. However, we can begin our morning with a stop at an old fishing village nearby called Anchor Village. Then, we'll make our way to Oslo City Hall. Which is known for its incredible wall paintings. We'll easily be able to spend a couple of hours at that site alone. All right, let's walk over to the shuttle bus. We've got a great day ahead of us. Number 92. What is the talk mainly about? Number 93. What does the speaker mean when she says, The building was badly damaged in a recent storm? Number 94. What will listeners probably do next?
Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and boarding pass. May I have your attention, please? All passengers for transcontinental flight 837 bound for Seattle are asked to proceed to gate 224 at this time. Departure is scheduled for 10.45 a.m., and Air Team Gold members and business class passengers may begin boarding at 10.10 a.m. All others will start at 10.25 a.m. Please also note that West Air Flight 382, originally scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. for Houston, will be delayed due to an issue with one of its fuel lines. Technicians are inspecting the aircraft now and will update us shortly. More information regarding the status of this flight will be provided to passengers at 11 a.m. Thank you. Number 95. Look at the graphic. What time will Benny Stein be permitted to board the aircraft? Number 96. Why has Flight 382 been delayed? Number 97. What will happen at 11 a.m.? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and sign. Hi, Sandra. I got your message about the team-building exercise you're arranging for our department. I really like your idea of playing a soccer game at a park. Actually, there's a great spot where we can play just a few miles from our workplace, Berkeley Park. Maybe you've heard of it? It has a large field that can be reserved in advance. The only downside is that there's very limited parking. People will have to use the nearby East Street Garage. We'll probably only play for an hour, but I imagine we'll want to hang out a bit afterwards, so people will have to pay for two hours. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Number 98 what task was the listener given? Number 99. According to the speaker, what is located near a workplace? Number 100. Look at the graphic. What amount will the listeners most likely be charged for parking? Test 8 is 끝났습니다. 이제 정답을 불러드릴 테니 채점을 해보시기 바랍니다. Test 8. 1. A. 2. Boy. 3. Boy. 4. C. 5. Boy. 6. David. 7. A. 8. A. 9. C. 10. A. 11. Boy. 12. A. 13. C. 14. A. 15. C. 16. Boy. 17. C. 18. Boy. 19. A. 20. C. 21. C. 22. A. 23. Boy. 24. Boy. 25. C. 26. Boy. 27. Boy. 28. A. 29. Boy. 30. C. 31. Boy. 32. David. 33. A. 34. C. 35. David. 36. Boy. 37. A. 38. A. 39. Boy. 40. C. 41. David. 42. Boy. 43. C. 44. David. 45. Boy. 46. C. 47. Boy. 48. Boy. 49. A. 50. David. 51. Boy. 52. C. 53. C. 54. A. 
55. David. 56. David. 57. Boy. 58. A. 59. Boy. 60. C. 61. C. 62. A. 63. Boy. 64. Boy. 65. A. 66. Boy. 67. C. 68. Boy. 69. C. 70. C. 71. David. 72. David. 73. C. 74. A. 75. Boy. 76. C. 77. David. 78. Boy. 79. C. 80. A. 81. Boy. 82. David. 83. Boy. 84. Boy. 85. A. 86. C. 87. David. 88. David. 89. A. 90. C. 91. A. 92. C. 93. Boy. 94. David. 95. Boy. 96. A. 97. C. 98. Boy. 99. A. 100. Boy. 이제 마지막 문제 개수를 세워보신 후 리스닝 점수 환산표에 따라 자신의 점수를 확인해 보시고 교재의 첫 장에 있는 목표 달성기에 점수를 표시해 보세요. 수고하셨습니다.